Guys, Fox Token is fucking ripping, you know? It is ripping. I'm gonna talk a little bit about Fox. I'm gonna talk a little bit about Art Block. First of all, whoa, what is going on here? Okay. Guys, $20 million market cap, $23 million. Decentralized exchange, kind of like Uniswap or MetaMask. You swap tokens and stuff. They were up 30% at one point today. You know? Probably a top mover. Well, it is a top gainer. But yeah, something to be excited about, guys, because I have a pretty uh, decent bag of Fox. Here's something about Fox I want to talk about. Why they're better than um, Uniswap, MetaMask. Fox Perpetual Utility. How do Fox earn crypto? Okay. Let me talk about this. They have this rainfall feature. Rainfall rewards Fox hodlers with free crypto when people trade on shapeshift. The more Fox you hold, the better your chances of winning a rainfall reward. For every qualifying transaction on shapeshift, the following benefits are realized. User who makes, who, who makes a crypto trade earns more Fox tokens. Another random Fox holder earns free to USDC. Revenue generated for Shapeshift Fox, if any, goes to the uh, from that transaction goes to the Shapeshift decentralized anonymous organization. Fox Fuel reimbursement for gas fees. Gas fees can be expensive. Fox tokens help you offset these costs. Ten percent of the current market value of your Fox tokens, as determined by at the time of of uh, trade, can be repaid to you every thirty days in additional Fox tokens. That's crazy as hell. And plus, they don't have the same slippage and stuff. You know, shapeshift trades are more competitive than other offerings. In the example below, a thousand die trade yields more than a thousand of output coin to the user via shapeshift. Uniswap and MetaMask yield negative via slippage and fees. As you can see here, get my big old head out of the way. Uh, look at the difference here. You know, no slippage, no gas fees. Well, they are, but they're reimbursed. You know. Look at the difference here. Okay. It's better. You get reimbursed for that shit. You know? <laughs> Fucking bullish, boy. Bullish as fuck. Bullish as fuck. Bullish as fuck. And guys, another thing I saw with Fox. Let's go back to this um, here. Look at the fucking trading volume. It's up 567%. The Fox is waking up. You know? What? The sleeping fox. It's waking up from the slumber. Oh, to slaughter the fucking bears. Back to the trenches, you fucking bears. Get in them fucking trenches, boy. <laughs> Seriously, guys. You know? Good time to be a fox holder. Let me talk a little bit more about them real quick. Thorchain. What is Thorchain? Okay. Thorchain is a revolutionary decentralized cross-chain liquidity protocol enabling users to seamlessly swap assets between different blockchain networks. As one of the largest decentralized finance protocols, Thorchain uses an automated market maker to ensure deep liquidity. This allows users to contribute their assets to liquidity pools and facilitate trades, earning a portion of the swap fees. Uh, like I said, better than Uniswap. Okay, well, let me get this thing out of my way. Out of my face, out of my face. While DeFi protocols like Uniswap and Balancer utilize liquidity pools for asset swaps within a single blockchain such as Ethereum, Thorchain extends this capability across multiple blockchains. Okay. Powered by the Cosmos SDK, Thorchain's AMM protocol allows you for, for the swapping of cryptocurrencies across previously non-inoperable blockchains. 
Rune is critical for this functionality of the platform serving as a pairing token for each asset and the liquidity pools. This dual role of Rune not only facilitates trades but also enhances its utility and value within the network. Rune is utilized to pay transaction fees, participate in governance, and help secure the ThorChain network. Okay, so that's a little about what ThorChain is, guys. And, uh, you know, Fox is like, eh, it's recognized as one of the best ThorChain interfaces available, according to that sentence right there. But, um, yeah, guys, uh, it's a pretty clean, decentralized exchange, and I think it's going to do fucking well, you know? It's got gas in the tank right now. When I see that trading volume go up like that, 560 per 7 cent, they're putting gas in the tank to go higher. It looks like it's cooling off a little bit, but you know, guys, Bitcoin's starting to come recover and shit from that little dip it had or whatever. So we have the altcoin shit. It's going to go crazy next week, okay? ETTF Tuesday. Trump speaking Wednesday or Thursday. Then we have all these fucking CP, uh, PCE report. Um, what else was it? Oh, yeah. Uh, Q2 G GPD is next week also. I think Friday. Big fucking week, bro. <laughs> Big fucking week for the markets, guys. I really think the bears will get fucking slaughtered. Yeah, enough about um, shapeshift. Enough about that. Let's talk about our buck. Okay, what did I see today? They are listed in Forbes again. Yes, our buck has been in Forbes multiple times now. Um, just a small quote from this is a post on our blocks page. Uh, but yeah, so one vital tip would be to stay informed and updated about DeFi developments and trends, identify, identify opportunities while navigating its current limitations effectively. That's a quote from Robert Mao. Dude, Art Block is, <laughs> they just hit 20,000 holders, 24,000 holders also. We are so fucking early with Art Block. They're going to transform Web3. And anybody on my channel, if you don't hold Art Block, it's at $2 right now. I suggest you fucking start buying. You know, not financial advice is all entertainment purposes only. But look at all this shit they have to offer, guys. NFT Studio, they have the Agni. This is the AI app engine. Okay. They have NFTs. The AI engine. Um, Agen is, that's how you pronounce it. That's probably Artblock's, um, like, flagship product, you know. Agen empowers AI for application development. Agent makes it easy to access and, ut and utilize large language models and generative AI with a completely code-free approach, allowing anyone to build complete applications using AI. And it also uses chat GTP3 and 4, I believe. So, guys, you can just go on this thing and fucking tell it what you want to do and it can make an app for you, you know? That is crazy. You don't have to type in no codes. You don't have to do shit, you know? Bullish as fuck, buddy. But uh, they have all this other stuff going on too. Decentralized identity, decentralized storage, cloud computing, blocklet server. Um, dude. Dude. You know? Our block is going to slaughter the fucking bears. It's actually such a badass guitar lick that I actually made that up. It started with the 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 halo. But I changed it a little bit, made it the the oh wait, hold on. I don't know, that's pretty cool. But yeah. Made a cool metal riff from Halo. 
But guys, Arc Block is going to do numbers. They got listed in Forbes. You know, next week, I think altcoin season is really going to kick in high gear. Um, well, it's going to start. Altcoins will start rallying next week, in my personal opinion. Um, too much going on. Too much bullishness. You know, Jamie Dimon. Jamie Dimon coming out. Flipping his whole... I mean, he just said a couple weeks ago that if he was in the government, he would shut it down. Now he's on his... Put his knee pads on, sucking Bitcoin's dick, bro. Bullish as fuck. Yeah, guys, I know we talk about uh, Bitcoin a lot lately. I know I love them all coins too, though, guys. Honestly, a couple hundred dollars in small coins can really change your life. You know, stack your Bitcoin using all coins. That's my strategy, and I'm sticking to it. I still invest in Bitcoin, but not like I do alts, guys. But at the end of the day, you need to be stacking your stat uh, stats too. You know, I'm ready to see the market rip. Tired of the bearish shit. Trump on my bags. But yeah, guys. Art box about to fix my fucking truck. And fix my hair. <laughs> Fix my truck. Don't vote for Biden. Okay, guys, I guess that's about all I got here. You know, if you like, get any value from me, please like and subscribe to my channel. You know, much appreciated, you guys, listening to what I got to say. Everybody holding Fox right now. One good time. I, I honestly think Fox is going to definitely break the previous all-time high, which was $2.21. Um, you know, that's good. It's good for me. It means I can buy some shit and start, start doing stuff with life. I was thinking about this shit today, guys, and it's like we're investing in future energy, life energy, you know? You're making sacrifices in the present for a better future. May not seem like it sometimes, guys. These past few weeks, we've been in the trenches. It's been rough. And um, sometimes you really got to, that's when, you know, those are the best times to buy, though. Realistically, when there's extreme fear, you know, no one wants to be around that shit. No one does. That's why the, these people, they don't choose the path. They go to the path of least resistance. They go when it's easy. They see Bitcoin and all these altcoins doing well. That's when they come in. They're not getting life-changing gains, guys. They're not. They're coming in when everything's safe. You need to be, you know, these past few weeks, anybody that's been on my channel that's been accumulating, you know, dude, that is like how people get rich. They come in, they scoop up these assets that are fucking highly undervalued, and they wait until dumbasses think it's safe, and they come in, and they're the exit liquidity, you know? <laughs> That's just, that's really how it works, guys. Um, you know, just kind of like how some of you are getting in on these altcoins now. Like me and you could be exit liquidity for the guy that got in before us. As long as you take profits and get out when it's time to get out, that's all that matters, guys. You know, and we're a long way from there. I mean, I'd say we're about at least a year away from really uh, when the fireworks really start going, you know. I plan on selling before next year. Uh, hopefully the beginning of next year or the end of this year is when I'll be starting to take some profits because I'm like desperately needing to. Living in the fucking matrix hard over here, buddy. Um, you know, I'm ready to get out of the matrix and start fucking enjoying my life, guys. Shit's really weak. But you know, 
The strong, the strong people are still here in the space, guys. Waiting on them green candles to come in, buddy. A god candle for Bitcoin. Damn, it's gonna change my whole fucking attitude. But in the meantime, guys, we have to stay positive. Next week is gonna be a good week. Don't worry about these red days. Don't worry about the day to day. The day to day volatility don't mean if, unless you're selling Bitcoin tomorrow, or at least altcoins, unless you plan on selling them next week. Who gives a fuck if it's down 10% in one day? You know? Dude, I bought Artblock at like 7 cents. I don't care if it's $2 right now. You know? I'm still in astronomical gains. And on most of these altcoins, I am. Because um, I don't buy them when they're pumping. I buy them when they're dumping. You know? Yeah. Hello, can I get a fucking amen to that, buddy? You don't buy it when it's pumping. You buy it when it's dumping. All you got, honestly, I don't want anybody to jump in on this Fox while it's up 25%. Wait for it to cool off. Wait for it to retest the support. It's going to find a resistance and that volume is going to cool down and it's going to find, it's going to cool off probably 10, 15%. That's when you make an entry, you know? But guys, you know, it's been great, but I'm about to get off here and watch a movie. Hold down the fort.